Okay, Walter, here we go. Uh, I've been running some quickie routines this morning. Uh, they're all right down your alley, like five to ten minutes long, uh, very quick. And uh, no thought, just a quick profile cut, simple G-code. And uh, so this is the final, the final one at the top. And it's uh, you know the full full radius around the top. Uh, prior to this one, I cut the shoulders. They were about six minutes each. And then uh, prior to that, I cut the bottom radius, which uh, I don't know took less than ten minutes. So all these things are going along pretty well. I got a ding in the shoulder. You can see is pretty clean, but the other one's got a ding in it. Uh, the cutter, when you're cutting the shoulder, the cutter's cutting the trough and some swarf got in the way. I didn't realize it. I tried it a couple times and the same thing happened. So I ended up with a ding in that side. I don't know if I can, I probably can't even file it out. I'd have to put some kind of little divot there on both sides to make it look right. Anyway, I may just leave it. Some Bondo and paint may take care of it. I don't know. Anyway, um, I just wanted to make this quick little video so you can see what's going on. And uh, for this unit, uh, most of the milling work will be done. It's been kind of a fun little unit because it's, it's, uh, it, it has taken a while for such a small thing, but it's um, fairly easy compared to the ram and certainly compared to the base uh, or the cross slide, whatever you call it. So anyway, uh, all the dovetails are in, and um, it's ready to drill the, the upper portion. I'm going to put a threaded sleeve in there that stops the lead screw on the underside. Um, kind of like the tag lathe lead screw, that's, that's what I'm thinking. And um, I have a couple of tag leg lead lead screws they, they would work except the ones I have are left hand thread and I think I think actually I need a right hand thread here so um, that that's been part of the problem you know the the uh, the dovetail unit that's made with this has to be thick enough to accommodate at least a quarter inch lead screw so uh, I, I was pretty much stuck uh, that's why originally these dovetails were a little deeper, but they'll work out just fine the way they are, so I'm gonna let this run for a while probably this, this has been running for 10 minutes, so this and probably I'm about two-thirds done So what another three or four minutes This could be done Maybe uh, Maybe I'll zoom in and out a couple times and we'll see what we got going here. I just got this in the vise right now. You can see that, and you can kind of see that I had to uh, I had to use a right right angle square to line it up in the vise with the table. That's all I did um, because the bottom is rounded, so it can't it doesn't slip flat against the bottom in the vise. So anyway, that that part's okay, I think. But it's, it's, the cut the cut looks pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. So side to side and, and the front, all the radius is the right. I see I, I got a little funny spot there on the top, so I don't know why. Let me let me zoom in on that. Just uh, I know you don't like all those Z moves, but they, it makes it pretty fast, you know? I mean, they, they don't take long. For some reason, it thinks it has to do that. Uh, this kind of operation, it seems, it seems like it has to do that every time. Some other types of operations, it seems like it'll just, you know, Make a make a U-turn and, and plunge in and come back again. But um, maybe you know.
know, if I told it it can do mixed milling, it would probably, because I think it must think it's got to, you know, do a conventional milling job instead of climbing. So that's probably the reason for that. I didn't even fool around with it because, I mean, it does these little routines so fast, it, it doesn't bother me. So, let me, let me, uh, let me zoom back out again. Just, um, I'm just using a 360 inch end mill, diameter end mill. I think, you know, they, I tried to, I started off with a quarter inch and that worked fine on the bottom radius. But, uh, that's where I was having trouble with on the on, on the shoulders because um, it would it would I, I I figured out the swarf was getting in the way so it kept it kept starting to cut and it would jam up so I changed to a three sixteenths there and um, that seemed to help a little bit but and I and I just kept blowing the slot out with the hand blower I guess when I got my air hose pointed right it would I would I could have taken care of it that way but so anyway uh, that gives you an idea of what's going on I'll let this finish off and I'll post this video so you can see what's going on I'm gonna make one more video uh, probably won't be today but in the next couple days so I'm gonna put all these parts together and, and uh, just a short video how this all, all goes together. Of course, we don't have all the parts and I'm a long ways from finished, but, um, you know, give you an idea what's going on. trouble with the CNC this morning I was really puzzled the x-axis wouldn't run at all and uh, I didn't know what to do you know <laughs> I built this thing myself all the electronics and everything but um, I was I you know you forget right so I uh, I tried wiggling wires and taking plugs off and taking a few tests here and there and Finally, I realized that the parallel plug, the parallel port plug in the back of the computer was was loose a little bit. It's actually right by the USB where the little thumb drives where I plug them in and out. And when I pulled the thumb drive out, I guess I loosened that connector a little bit. It's got some, it's got some screw tie downs on it, so I <laughs> I fixed it so that wouldn't happen again. But, uh, anyway, I got the camera on this side, so uh, I'd show you my divot on the other side, but it's not convenient to move the camera right now. Anyway, it's not bad. I'll I'll fix it. Cutter just dug in the side a little bit. This thing, this one's the longest one. I mean, this is like, now I'm 16 minutes. I'm only, it's a half an inch deep, so I think I'm going like uh, 10 thousandths more. Hopefully it makes it. I'm down at 460 now. So, it's almost finished. not going to have much time the rest of the week so I got lucky today a little a little time to come out here and work the weather's really nice so nice and cool out here
like this Cam Bam. These little routines are just a simple profile, just a line. And uh, I, I, they, you know, I'm, I'm not that familiar with how to use the, the uh, CAD portion of Cam Bam, but that's what I've been doing. Just I just draw the little arc and, and right there in Cam Bam and, and use the profile mop. And these things take, I mean, you can do these things in five minutes, you know, these little simple profiles. So. We're at 510 right now. This may be it. Maybe the end of the road. Yeah, that's it. So, um, anyway, I'll sign off now. I'll go post this video and then uh, we'll carry on from there. Hope everything's going okay.